two beautiful, beautiful beast pods from Jason Beard that I'll be reviewing today. Pepper plants coming along pretty good. Little T-Rex yellow there. Might call it a golden T-Rex. So, you might want to keep an eye out for these guys. Come here. Look how big that sucker is. You see one, start looking for more. Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? How's everybody doing today? Ooh. As you've probably already seen, unless I forget to add the video in, which sometimes I be doing that. But uh, I got two beast pods here from Jason Beard. Thank you, brother, for sending me these. Look at the tail on that guy. Look how big this one is. Now, I've eaten these pods. Obviously not these pods. But I've eaten beast pods from a couple of growers last year. And I didn't find them overly hot. They are, of course, seven pot, and they're any seven pot if you don't eat, including these. If you don't eat hot stuff, these will melt your face off, but they're just not in the realm of the chocolate cream tolly. They're I would find them reaper hot, maybe a little bit, a little bit hotter, depending on the reaper. Maybe not. I don't know. These, Jason, I'm going to grow some stuff now. I mean, this, this, this was about the average size that I got last year. I don't think I got one this big. That's what she said. That's very sad. But anyways, I digress. Painful memories. Um, I said that out loud. So these pods, of course, were um, part of the horticulture world, as we know, of the beast pod. And I, I, my remembering of these, it was the gnarliest. That's why I'm growing some this year. They're not only beautiful, beautiful, aesthetically gnarly, and all that kind of stuff, but they had a really good flavor to them. And they brought good heat. I thought these would be fantastic for a hot sauce now what else can i say about jason beard who sent me this other than the name jason beard this meant a lot in my life and i've, I've actually mentioned this and people are actually probably at this moment thinking i'm joking but <laughs> when he messaged me on messenger my first thought was oh my god man long lost friend well it, it wasn't, but he reached out, and I thought it was it was awesome anyway. I, I'd like to get in touch with the, the other Jason Beard that I'm talking about. Because uh, it was a guy, he was like a, he was a junior or senior in high school, and I was a freshman. And um, it was one of those deals where I, um, I was coming out of junior high, and I was pretty cocky. I was a martial artist. I did tournament. Hey, I was tournament trained, okay? <laughs> um, and I got in a few scuffles in in you know, junior high and elementary and all that kind of stuff, you know, and I was trained to fight my big brother, someone who cared about me. Now, getting into the big boy world, I didn't really realize that people just didn't really care if they hurt you. OK, but I had a little mouth on me back then. Can you believe that? Yeah, I've actually been in a few scuffles in my life. You don't get in scuffles talking the way I talk, at least <laughs> not from where I'm from. Um, if you're going to say something, people are going to have you back it up. But anyways. So, Jason Beard, I, w I wouldn't call him a bully. He was just going to kind of like show, he was going to make an example out of me with the freshman kids. And I wasn't going to have it. I was cocky. I stood up for myself and everything else. But let me tell you what happened. It was a beautiful, lifelong lesson that I would never forget. And I was actually taught this in martial arts. But in a real fight, you tend to forget. But when you get dealt it in a real fight, you never forget. He, he had punched me like in class or something like that. And I stood up for myself and I stood up and I grabbed him. We kind of tussled for a second. And that's where I made the mistake. Hesitation. Hesitation will get your ass kicked in a fight quicker than anything. Whether you're having sympathy for the opponent or what does not matter. You do not hesitate for a split second. He clocked me right there in the neck and it sent me walking a few paces away. Good enough for people to grab him and hold him back. While I got the butterflies and, and stars and everything that I was seeing cleared and realized, uh oh, this fight's already over. <laughs> and I thank him for that lesson that 
I've been in many scuffles since, and there ain't no hesitation whatsoever. Now, that's what the name Jason Beard means a lot to me for that reason and this man, this Jason Beard, for bringing me such great peppers to review. He's so appreciative of me trying these peppers out, and I'm so appreciative of him growing these things and thinking of me to send them to, to review for content for you to see. Now, I'm considering this a pretty light video, but I may be mistaken because I don't expect these to be really, really hot. I expect these to be way below those chocolate bootlas that I ate yesterday, but I could be surprised. Let's get into this, guys. Enough talking, right? Beast pods. Like I say, I've got a couple bushes going on out there, waiting for something to come on. My peppers are fine. My plants are finally starting to do something. They're doing a lot better. These are so gnarly. <clears throat> and this is a pod that another reason I like it is it it looks like its own. It don't look like a, a renamed pepper from something else. It looks like an actual, real creation that wasn't stolen from something else. Of course, it was crossed with something, but that's pretty much most everything is. Oh. They seem to be a lot more hotter than I remember. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not going to light me up. But they are. They're hotter than I remember last year in the reviews. And I don't think I could be mistaken. I don't think my tolerance is quite as high last year when I ate the beast pots. Now, I believe my tolerance got quite a bit higher than it is right now than it was last year. Especially when I did those 13 chocolate primatolis. <clears throat> My tolerance was nuts then. I still don't think I could. I could probably do half of that. Depending on the chocolate primatoli. If it's one of them big monsters. That's always a different color. We got a decent burn going. I'm at a two right now. And um, let's give it a little bit to to climb, if it will. <clears throat> Decent in the mouth, around the backs of the tongue, towards the throat. Give it a minute here. It's definitely warm now. It is definitely warm. Okay, so it's migrated, migrated mostly to the back of the throat. Yeah, if my tolerance was not up, this would be a problem. It's, it's increased a little bit. I just hate to say three. <laughs> but can I say three and a half? Oh boy. Yeah, sometimes we get to talking about things that goes on and YouTube don't like it. But most of the time YouTube's pretty cool with it. But if you upload a short and you say something, you might get your TT slapped. A little warning. A little warning. Not no demonetization or nothing like that. Not even close. But so you just Take it down and you replace it with a, a welding video that gets 2,000 views. <laughs> it's a win-win. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's going to get much past a three and a half. Really, honestly, about a, th about a three. About a three. I think it's actually starting to already come back a little bit.
Yeah. Nice little burn though. I mean that, that's that's a good tasting. It's got a sweetness to it, but it's got that hit. It's got a, it's, it's a hot pepper. As solid as it was, I kind of wish I would have cut it open and looked inside. I really wish I would have done that. Because I had a feeling, I had a feeling by the way it chewed up, that it had a lot of placenta, placenta going on. Hmm. Not bad. All right. Thank you, Jason Beard, for everything you've done for me.